it's not far till winter hits and with winter comes um, a larger local population of grey-headed flying foxes like Steve here and it's not recognised as a classic migration but it is a fact that large numbers of grey-headed flying foxes come up to our area simply because of the brilliant winter flowering that we have every year in good years and we're going to have an exceptional year this year we've had lots of rain oh my goodness you're right and have a bit more nana yep so we don't generally have too many grey we have some residual greys through summer but we by far see the greatest numbers during winter and then um, they'll head back south again at the end of winter to southern states would you like some more of that nana you've had enough have you so this is when they start coming into care with us. Um, oh, there's a bit of banana, it's getting a bit cranky. So Steve here was hit by a car. That was his reason for coming into care, but he's doing really well. And uh, he's been x-rayed and everything's good. He's a big man, he's about 900 grams. Because we've had this excellent rain, with excellent rain comes excellent feed after the rain so we've got oh geez everything's flowering everything's just going off and uh, including figs and lots of native fruits and grevilleas and golden penders and lily pillies and malucas <laughs> so they're coming into care generally speaking in really really good nick shepherd on your beautiful orange ruff so the lovely orange ruff the greys here we go you're not overly thrilled on that had enough banana Yep, and a bit more before you go, and we'll put you back in your house. Ooh, now he's just cranky, <laughs> doesn't want any more banana. All right, we're getting back, but um, yeah, hopefully not. But we probably see we'll be seeing more greys coming in this winter unless they stay safely up in the trees where we hope that they do stay. Anyway, we shall see. <laughs>